<laughs> hey guys, what's up? How you doing? This is Mob Bros. Coming at you with another video. This video, we're going to be going over my Alpha Trooper. This is a recent build that I made, and it was a lot of fun doing it. I really like how it came out. So basically, it's a yellow and strike Alpha Trooper. It's my favorite color out of all the Alpha Troopers, so I like it the best. I found it on the store, and I wanted to bring it up to modern day. But I didn't want to do the standard route of just like putting Elite Alpha Trooper internals into it. Putting a new spring rest onto it. I wanted to be able to hit 200 FPS with all my other builds. Inside of this Alpha Trooper is a full set of homemade internals. Everything inside of here has been just fully made by me. It's running a homemade plunger tube out of a sink drain, a homemade breech out of PVC and brass, a homemade plunger rod out of various bits of washers, an epoxy putty to make the catch ramp. And then it's running a 25 Newton spring. So if I were to explain the internals in the simplest way, it's kind of a mesh between the caliber and a prophecy with the pump grip sort of setup, similar to very much of how you would see in the caliber and then the catch and plunder rod setup is very similar to how you run a prophecy. So with that, I have two screws on the back right here holding the stock on, so I can't take the stock off anymore unless I remove those screws for transport and that keeps the 25 Newton spring from blowing out the back. Um, the pump grip is just connected with these four screws onto the original pump grip into the one inch PVC which serves as my bolt sled breech bolt carrier setup or whatever you want to call it. Prime's really smooth. I can put a 25 newton spring into this thing and hit 200 FPS. I also have a cut down 62 Hillman that got me close to around 130 which was nice for if I wanted to go to low power wars. It has I'd say almost a foot of 17 degree seconds which leads into about an inch of 9 sixteenths. And right here on the front is where I mount my scar barrel. So I can get super accurate shots. I'm also experimenting right now with making a Merlin for this thing so that I can feed and shoot super duper accurately. Feeds really well from the standard 18 mag. And all of those are 200 FPS shots that are blowing into the wall and breaking probably half those darts. But yeah, it's just, everyone needs to have a pump action springer sort of rifle, and so that's what I made. I used to have a, or I still do, I still have a pump action long shot, but this, so much lighter and easier to change out the spring, that this is my new sort of pump action sort of rifle. Stock is still extendable if I want, turn it like that, and it's just a standard. Everybody loves the Alpha Trooper, so why not make it 200 FPS? And right now we're just gonna cut, I'm gonna take this apart so I can show you guys how the homemade intervals sort of work. So this is essentially the powertrain that runs the blaster. You can see here I have a catch. This is an original N-Strike Immortal catch that I have a custom metal sheeting on the back, which I then drilled a hole in the front and centered it down until it caught and released on the plundera, and then there's just a pocket putty to smooth it out. As you can see here, this is a slam fire bar. I just cut it down, solidified it in place. I didn't want to try to have to figure out how to get the slam fire to work with my custom bolt sled. And then also have errors with slime fire not working with it. And then basically these are my homemade internals. If we start here, this is the sink drain plunger tube with my homemade plunger rod inside. You guys can you guys saw this on our Instagram. It's just a few washers on the front that I cut down in order to fit into the plunger tube. O-ring to catch there, another washer down here that catches with there. And as you can see, the clearance is just perfect. It just perfectly fits on. And then I have a little bit of 17 brass here to act as my spring guide. And it's also great because since it's open on the, on the middle, I, I could want to because of, I don't know if you guys have seen the new uh, Jet Blasters CETA Alpha Kit with the smaller, very small inner diameter springs. I could fit one of those inside of here and then put this on top <laughs> and run the heaviest spring combination ever and just get insane fps so that's how the plunger tube and plunger rod works and then this is your very simple breech slash bolt sled these two holes connect to the original pump grip right here and then it's just your standard yeah this just goes over the top like that slides in with these four screws 
basically this comes back the 17 seconds is attached to the very front muzzle to keep it in place and then that lines up perfectly with the breech of the blaster and you know we'll look at the brass 9 16 not my best work but it feeds really well and i had to do a lot of opening and closing of the blaster and cutting it down just that little bit more in order to get it to feed full length when i first made this thing and so yeah that's how the internals work like I said, it's a basically a combination of a caliber and a prophecy inside an Alpha Trooper. Let's me get 200 FPS shots there, and so I'm real proud of it. And it's stronger than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> Made it more powerful by taking it apart. So that's gonna be everything for my Alpha Trooper, guys. I really like this blaster. It's gonna be staying in my primary bin for a long time now. I just want to get a nice barrel for it so I can get those super straight shots out of it. And then maybe even try to put even bigger springs into it and see just how far I could push it FPS wise. <laughs> breaks everything. Hey, if it breaks, dude, honestly, uh, the most likely thing to break is the catch. Yeah. And if the catch breaks, well, <laughs> guess he'll make a new one. <laughs> That's everything for the Alpha Trooper video, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like and comment if you did. Ask me any questions about how I did the internals. They're really good. I honestly like start doing these homemade internals a lot. I, ever since I made those homemade internals for my recon, just seeing how much potential there is and ability to do this is an amazing thing to do. So like and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, what's up? Hello there. My name is Brady Deal. Hi, nice to meet you, Brady. I'm selling discount cards. That's Glenn Racer. It's a non-profit organization who wants to end all violence. Do you know what that is? Nope. So, Thanks, man. I think we're good on discount cards. Well, you have the best dress for your day, then. Yeah, you too, man. Is there anyone else inside of the house you might buy? Nope, we're good. Great. Bye-bye. Well, I think there's people in the house. Also, the dips. I'm <laughs> <laughs> knocking in. Thanks, brother.